Before we tackle this third chapter, I want to go back just a little bit. In Colossians 2 and 20. And I'm going to be reading quite a few statements here and, and a few scriptures just so you get comfortable and just know we're going to be flipping through your word today. Amen? Colossians 2 and 20, just to give context of what's happening in, in the third chapter. It, it reads, Wherefore, if ye be dead, with Christ from the rudiments of the world, as though living in the world, are ye subject to ordinances? Why, as though living in the world, are ye subject to ordinances? Touch not, taste not, handle not, which are, which all are to perish with the using, after the commandments and the doctrines of men. And then verse 23 says, Which things have indeed a show of wisdom in real worship and humility and neglecting of the body, not in any honor to the satisfying of the flesh. So what we have here is again that statement, If ye be dead, almost similar to what says in Colossians 3, If ye, the, if ye then be risen with Christ. So if you are dead, with Christ from the rudiments of the world, why, as the living in the world, are ye subject to ordinances? Touch not, taste not, handle not, which are to perish with the using after the commandments and the doctrines, not of God, but of men. Amen? It's basically speaking like this. A mechanical, religious, external routine uh, 